So thermodynamics, thermodynamics in general is the science of energy. So thermodynamics is not just the science of heat energy. You see that the definition of, um, of uh, thermodynamics is the science of energy. We often think of it as uh, thermal energy because it's often is de to describe um, uh, like in the early, when it was first uh, uh, defined, it was defined as heat power. So therm, which is heat and di di dynamis in Greek, the Greek words are power. So from heat power, it describes the early efforts to convert heat into power was thermodynamics. But we uh, know that the laws of thermodynamics apply to all energy transfers, not just those of heat transfer. Uh, one of the most fundamental laws of nature is this, the conservation of energy principle. It says that energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only change form and change from one form to another, but energy cannot be created or destroyed. The first law of thermodynamics is an expression of that conservation energy it just, uh, of energy principle, which is just energy cannot be created or destroyed. The second law of thermodynamics is a little bit less known and it, me it uh, deals with the quality of that energy. So the second law of thermodynamics says that energy has a quality um, and and the process that occurs in the direction and, and this process always occurs in the direction of decreasing quality of energy. An example of that, an example of uh, the second law of thermodynamics is the fact that uh, hot heat travels from hot to cold um, or thermal energy travels from hot from hot to cold. Uh, so a hot environment is um, higher quality. And this is lower quality in terms of its thermal energy or the quality of that energy. And we've talked about this before, that this hot coffee sitting on your desk doesn't get cold. The environment gets hot from the coffee as that energy is moving from um, uh, high quality energy that's hot to low quality energy in that cool environment that is cold.